The footfall uh, we see are really fruitful. Cyber security, AI, quantum, satcom, non-terrestrial networks and uh, have been big focus and this will, I think this is the start of those summits. We don't know yet how far it's going to change, but AI will play a big role. And next couple of years or four or five years, AI is going to take the trend. And if you're not being a part of play, probably you will lose out the market also. Hello and welcome to this Money Control Podcast. We are coming to you from the India Mobile Congress 2025 and joining us in this conversation is the CEO of uh, the IMC, Mr. Ramakrishna, the, pers- the entity behind this humongous event that we have here in New Delhi. Ramki, thank you very much for joining us on this uh, special podcast. Um, thank you, Chandra. Take us through the scale of IMC or the India Mobile Congress 2025 uh, various delegates from all over the world, a huge exhibition area uh, and the government outlining huge ambitions when it comes to connectivity and uh, uh, telecom. T- take us through IMC 2025. IMC, IMC 2025, yes, every year hmm. uh, we have seen a very different scope and size and scale uh, which has uh, probably last couple of days you have been seeing it. Um, the numbers speak by themselves uh, as what we told we have we would have close to 1.5 lakhs footfall we are nearing that mark and we have thousand plus exhibitors i think this takes a pride for the india movement and what we see now is uh, the big difference what i saw from last time see and this year is uh, earlier it was more conceptual uh, more uh, visualization of what we can do for the globe. Uh, really this year I have seen the hard boxes on the stall. Mm-hmm. That means we are developing. It's going from proof of concept to actual. Actuals. Mm-hmm. So what we are seeing is the boxes being built. The environment is now set to scale. Uh, the way there is, a, there is a marketplace for the products being uh, and I think there is also conviction that you can that you can make hard tech out of India, right? I th- That's true. So our objective has been that mm-hmm. uh, it's not just, uh, of course, service is one angle for India as a strength, but definitely innovation products to be rolled out. And very surprisingly, we saw a lot of products coming out. And a good feedback what I'm getting is a uh, lot of customer interactions happening. Hmm. The footfall uh, we see are really fruitful for the exhibitors. I think that's the take and I hope this will give whatever the base of IMC was to find a global market for Indian products will definitely be true in near future. So is this our answer to MWC Barcelona? MWC Barcelona, yes. It is Probably I would say this is answer to the vision of the Prime Minister what he stated in inaugural speeches a couple of days back hmm. uh, and a couple of years back. Uh, but uh, one way to answer to MWC Barcelona has been there is a marketplace and uh, the world should look at India. Right. Um, Ramki, when I look at the telecom sector in India, you know, it gets a lot of uh, attention for the scale uh, at, at which it's managed to reach uh, connecting, I think, 1.2 billion Indians. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, apart from the services side, are we now also seeing more innovation on the core tech side? For instance, um, I think CDOT has helped build the 4G uh, stack. So on those lines, what kind of innovations are we seeing and has that also been a core focus for the IMC? Definitely, there is a lot of progress. Mm-hmm. Uh, CDOT, TCS, Tejas, they have built in VBDN, they are built in products. But what I say is these products will be a legacy product in few years now. So what we should target is the products which are futuristic. Uh, we should, the way we are shaping up probably the 6G agenda, uh, we miss the 5G bus. Yeah. Uh, 6G probably is where, where it should we concentrate mm-hmm. because it is, we have some time period when the products will be coming out in 6G. I think mm-hmm. that's where we should concentrate. Uh, the product should be more futuristic. That's where the marketplace will determine your strength. 
Right. In fact, I think the minister also said that you know we were laggards in 4G. We caught up with 5G, but 6G we have ambitions to lead. the charge uh, and i think they are also targeting uh, uh, a lot of uh, patents going forward so if you can give us an idea of uh, what to expect as far as uh, 6g is concerned 6g uh, i think yes you need to have the patents to strengthen your products marketplace on a revenue mechanism uh, that's where the strength of us or chinese companies are you don't have the patents you lose out the market base after some time you should have patents which are coming out of in india and uh, definitely lot of research needs to be carried out that's where the support of government needs to be there got it uh in terms of your own focus um, this edition ramki there's been a lot of talk on 6g uh, ai cyber and so on what are the you know like four five big themes if you want to tell our viewers about um, the four five big talking points at imc 2025 what would they be so what we saw was uh, earlier probably the shows and expos concentrated on data pipes hmm. uh, okay hmm. what we saw is the telcos have moved to tech companies now in this transition we thought we should figure much more broader spectrum of topics so as you said we are selected 6g being more futuristic try to concentrate on that to strengthen india space but at the same time cyber security ai quantums satcom non terrestrial networks and uh, have been big focus and this will i think this is the start of those summits in this year but going forward this will become a bigger content for us in future imcs Do you plan to take IMC Global? Will we see more global editions of IMC? I think uh, that's a big goal, <laughs> uh, but uh, I see a uh, lot of interest from other like GSMA and all to see how IMC is progress. That gives us a lot of encouragement that internationally people are looking at us, uh, seeing how we progress in IMC. I'm pretty sure in uh, we also want to put our step forward then we should also be a global player we will look forward for that so that is something to look forward to yes. on how this becomes a global play play right um as someone who's interacted with a lot of indian executives foreign executives in the last couple of days what is top of mind for them from a policy perspective what do they expect in terms of policy stability policy clarity if you can give us perspective on i think that. over a period of last couple of years and uh, policy part i think we are pretty okay now mm. not many impediments in the policy side of course adaptation of policy or the roll out of policy is a different issue but at least government is clear industry is clear uh, industries uh, so that part i think we are comfortable but adopting this policies or new policies to come out for the futuristic like ai or like any other futuristic is probably it will take time it has its own road map hmm. i think that's where we look forward for government support right and what's the one big trend that you are looking forward to in the next year you highlighted some key themes but if you have to call out one or two uh, that we will see influence the industry in a big way in the next one or two years what would it be ai 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 and ai you see every box seeing, here okay. has a label ai okay so you see there is that means there is lot of dynamics which are going to change hmm. we don't know at how far it's going to change but ai will play a big role Yeah, AI. I think we are already seeing the impact on the customer support side. Will we also see this in deep in the net on the network side in terms of how they are able to leverage AI to optimize resources, improve network infrastructure, etc. Definitely, yes. The, you mm -hmm. have products around those mm -hmm. uh, deploying on a network, uh, getting lot of um, optimization on the networks. You have products. Um, see ai since it has come as a spurt big spurt people are now identifying their uh, applications where it could enhance the value so that's where the industry is looking for whether it's customer support whether it's network optimization they're trying to figure out where it can be enhanced and next couple of years or 4 5 years ai is going to take the trend and if you're not being a part of play probably you will lose out the market also so i think it's a 
good to have invest in AI and then probably ROI part we don't know what but I think good to be a part of the investment strategy around AI. Right. Um, any stall that caught your interest in particular? We saw a lot of innovations from small companies, startups, very futuristic technologies being showcased here at the India Mobile Congress. We've also featured many of them on money control. Uh, but anything that caught your interest from drones to glasses to cars to bikes? Sincerely, I didn't have time to visit <laughs> even a stall. I would do now as a part of exercise. Uh, we will figure out what mm. was the right things. We have instructed people to capture the right uh, experiences from the exhibition. So we will be definitely capturing so those. So when does share. preparation for IMC 26 start? It started. Lot of oh, it's uh, already started. started. Uh, the dates and all probably will finalize in a couple of months. Uh, but um, IMC, now because it is a calendarized event, global event, we have to release the dates early. It's not like earlier IMC where we used to take time in de deciding the dates now because everyone wants to block their dates for the next IMC. Great. On that note, thank you very much for talking to us, Ramki, and here's wishing you the best. Thank you, Chandra. For the next edition and uh, to take IMC Global as well. Thanks to have Money Control as a partner. We look Great. forward for your contribution to IMC next year. Great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>